Welcome back to our Let's Play of Darkest Dungeon. Uh, this is Sparky Gravity, and if you're watching on YouTube, you're watching on Sparky Hobbies. My name is Ben, and we're continuing on. We just pick up our uh, leper, Cygnus, and we're going to go check l what kind of battle we want to go through. I still have to defeat the level 1 Sonus Prophet, but I don't want this crappy minus damage modifier. In fact, I just got a new trinket. Plus accuracy minus dodge. Um, that's probably going to go on somebody. I don't know who it's going to go on. Protection minus stress resist minus virtue chance. Grand Gravity is already like full, but he's got two items already. Uh, stress resist and plus to dodge. Hmm. Um, Bounty Hunter, range skill, that's crappy. Uh, I'm just checking to see if there's any trinkets I want to play. Grave Robber, don't have. Um, minus, that being said, I probably wouldn't play this anyway because I don't like minus damage modifiers. I want my damage to be high, I want to hit, and I want it to be, you know, really super impactful. Still low on the deeds, low on the portraits too, though. If this is a better reward for this, I might go after this one. It's a short room battle. Uh, level 3's got this plus 20% damage if Torch is below 25%. Actually, this is, and this is a long battle with like uh, 12 deeds. I don't think I'm going to do this one just because I don't have enough people for veteran, but you know, this is, I've never actually built a run yet that uh, for people who really liked it to be low Torch level. And that is interesting to me. I just haven't you know, had the the party really to to formulate a no torch run. Um, this is a level long apprentice one uh, battle. It's got twelve deeds, plus twenty percent damage if your health is below twenty five percent, and plus eight percent damage if your uh, HP is below twenty five percent damage. That's an interesting item. Plus 8 speed on the first round, plus 2 speed after the first round, minus 20% uh, stun skill chance on Vestals. That's a little bit interesting. I do think I have a speed item on her. No, I don't. Blight resist minus dodge and plus accuracy on range skills. This is ranged, ranged, and yeah. Okay. That's fine. I don't need another item like that. This one's interesting. And it's a long run. Uh, I kind of need both deeds and portraits. And I want to kill this prophet, but I honestly don't want this. Um, I don't want the minus damage modifier. I want my, I want my crusader to hit for damage. So it looks like we're going to do this one. Uh, we're going to take Cygnus. It's going to probably stress him out a little bit. He's curious. But he's thick blood, he's evasive. Is there anything else I could give him um, that is going to be awesome? Uh, plus 15% damage if in first rake. Yes, please. Leper only. Accuracy goes down, but that's not too big of a deal. Um, I don't know if I like him in white. That's pretty badass. Red. Um, I think I want my leper in red right now. Um, plus... Stress resist. This is uh, up, unequip all trinkets, short by rarity. Um, I think I want to actually sort by class restriction. So, leper only, plus 15% accuracy uh, if in rank 1, but minus look, to crit. No, we don't want that one. Minus uh, to bounty hunter, bounty hunter, high women, vestal, vestal. Um. Grave Robber, Grave Robber, plus Accuracy, plus Crit, minus to Dodge, and minus to Remove Resist. This only happens if he's in rank 1, so we're just going to leave it that way. Plus Scouting Chance, minus Steed, plus to Chance, plus 10% Move Skill Chance, no we're not going to do that. Plus to Crit and minus Speed, Bleed Resist, minus to Crit. What is your crit right now? 2%? I guess that's the only item we're going to take on him. This is going to be a long run. I'm going to want to take a highwayman, probably. Uh, we're not going to take somebody who has problems with stress relief. 
Um, so we're not going to take Grant Gravity. We're probably going to take Dismas. Um, he's a Wield Scrounger. We are going to the Weld. So we do have a scouting chance. Stress faster. Minus 100% food if stresses. Okay, so he doesn't eat food if he's stressed out. Yep, okay, we'll take uh, Dismas. Um, I'm going to take... Uh, do I want to take Mustel again? No, or maybe Nordic Warrior. Ooh, that would be interesting. Although, Nordic Warrior can only do the Dirk Stab. It'll move him up. Interesting. Um, interesting. But he has, like, really good camping skills. As far as stress relief. Chauncey wouldn't be a bad uh, guy to take with us either. But we're going... We're going into the weld. So... I think I'm going to take Mustle. And then we'll take Middleton. And that'll give us a party heal. We have two party heals. It's a long it's a long run, but it's pretty it should be pretty easy. Got some camping, so let's take twelve plus blood. I guess we'll really load up on food. Take two three shovels. Let's do three shovels. Two anti venoms, one bandage, uh one key um uh, let's see. Take ten torches? Yep. Okay, let's try that. I knew all these paths once. Now they are as interesting as my own ambitions. How do I want to do this? Uh, I have to explore ninety percent of the rooms. I'm trying to figure out how most efficient way to explore rooms here. I guess if I go up, down, if I do a S shape and then go all the way around, I should be able to, that's like the most efficient way to like look as many rooms as possible. We are going to get stressed out a little bit because we have a level zero with us. But we got a shovel, that's really nice. And I got a thorn ticket. Use it. And let's go into the store. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to go continue on this S shape and go around this way. And um, hope that our scouting chance. We have some people with scouting chances. So, Weld Scrounger. That's 10%. This is uh, another 20% chance. And, um, yeah. So, we have actually a pretty good chance. Torch was used a little bit pack has been looted already. We got a little bit unlucky in the sense that we run into an unauthority thicket immediately. So, we've used one shovel, net one shovel. We've got a scouting chance, that's good. And, uh, we're just gonna continue on on our plan. Uh, use a torch. Fight this battle. We didn't surprise him, but we got grape shots gonna do quite a bit of damage. Twelve plus three is fifteen. We dodge the slice and dice by the cutthroat. Death waits. The blink of fire was a bit unfortunate. Honestly. Wow, he did awesome damage. Um we're gonna go after the cutthroat and stop him from making a move. Got good crit, so got stress relief off. That's awesome. And let's, uh, six to eight damage. I can definitely kill the cutthroat, so I guess we'll go after the cutthroat rather than my normal target with this is a fusilier. I forget how to pronounce it. Gosh, I hate that. Yeah, love more crits, more stress relief. Awesome. And we got an anti venom, so I think we're up to three anti venoms now. Crate is empty. We actually don't want to look at items with him since he's a klepto. We don't want him to steal, so we want to keep him out of the uh, out of the items as much as possible. I'm actually going to go down this way just to look at this item. It's got stashed heirlooms. We'll take it. We'll back up a little bit. 
take nine stress for that little little bit. I could do the same on this. Um, am I greedy? Yes, I am. It's empty. All right. But we were able to look at like two items that way without actually exploring all the way. Backtracking is usually unhealthy because you do get stress from it, but um, it's not usually a too big of a deal. We're going to fight a battle in this room, so let's uh, use a torch. Uh, somebody dropped this recently, probably on the run. It has a lock, so let's use our key. Key works, valuable belongings inside. We've got some crests and some busts. We're going to fight a battle in this room for whatever item is in the center. Got a couple Eldritch and a couple Alkalites. Um, we are going to apply an Abyssal Artillery AoE, and that was just awesome. He's like critted every single hit. What is his crit chance? 18%. Holy cow. That is just amazing. I probably could have went for a stun. That probably would have been the better thing to do. But we'll just go ahead and Q, and I guess it probably didn't end up mattering. I don't think it really ended up mattering. And yeah, easiest battles ever. Get some food, get some portraits. I actually kind of need the portraits right now. Ancient coffin reveals some gold, which is not that exciting. Especially 150 gold. We're going to be fighting another battle. Hopefully it's like all the rest and it just adds to my stress relief. That would be awesome. Um, we're going to go for a 7 to chance, 7 to 10 chance, 90% chance, hitting him for 7 to 10. Oh, blah. Where are my words? Did get stressed out a little bit. Uh, grape shot blast, or 90% chance of killing him, basically. So, 5 to 11. My average is about 8. We're going to go to kill the ectoplasm and see if I actually kill him. No, we did my the least amount of damage we could do, but we're still going to try to kill him so that we don't get cytokinesis and have him split up. Let's do 8 to 16 damage to the Alkalite. And, uh, yeah, let's go for the uh, Wicked Cut. I can't believe he dodged there. Dismiss, come on, man. Muscle, again, is going to take some stress. And let's do some Dazzling Light just to up our torch level a little bit. Apparently it didn't work. That's weird. If, it, if it kills the guy, it doesn't work. Hmm. Keep looking at these boxes. Got some more crests. Got a battle here. Over a chest. I didn't... I used my key. But, um... You can use the anti-venom on heirloom chests, because it this, uh, if they're if it's trapped, it gets rid of the trapped, and then you get goodies. I'm not really sure quite how that works, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a stun to this Eldritch. See if I, he resisted the stun, so that didn't really work out that well. We'll go for Abyssal Artillery. This guy's in the back. Do some good damage, 13 damage. That's respectable. He's gonna do a ray of blight again. He only hit the Vestal, but she resisted the Blight, so I guess that's good. He has a minor bleed effect. That's not really too big of a deal. Um, I'm going to go, let's see here, 63% hit to both of them. It apparently doesn't have the greatest accuracy. Oh, right, because there's minus the accuracy. Okay. But he does more damage. Well, let's go for Q, I guess. We still managed to kill the... Uh, the melee guy, I forget what is it, what what their name is. And I could potentially kill two people here. Yeah. Nice shot from Dismas, and we'll follow it up from a crit from Muscle, because that's what he knows how to do. And uh, yeah, that worked out quite well. I got another shovel, quite excited about that. Let's take Dismas and open up this chest. We have three anti-venoms, I'm going to go ahead and use one of them. We happen to neutralize a poison trap, which means we got a little bit more uh, items from that chest. It doesn't it doesn't equate for, you know, uh, like max items. I think he's our highest trap guy, too. He's at 40%. That's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and disarm his trap with him rather than switch to a different character. Forward, yes, forward. Um, let's look at the sack with uh, Cygnus. And do I want to pop a torch? I think I'm going to. Kind of need to camp 
if for no other reason but to get a slot back because with these long uh, dungeon crawl battles like you just run out of slots and I can use it to like reduce some stress get back some of my, my light that I just lost um, could go for a heal but I'm probably going to heal during my camping so I'm just going to go for the kill on the ectoplasm and she applies good damage I think she has a modifier to damage to Eldritch do a grape shot blast for uh, actually a pretty measly 12. Uh, usually grape shot blasts do better than that. I did manage to get pulled forward by that stressful incantation or what, uh, what is it? Uh, I forget what it's called. So that was a little bit unfortunate, especially since I'd really like to use the sacrificial stab here. Guess we'll just do 14 crit damage and get a whole bunch of stress relief with Mustle, the crit master. That's awesome. Let's hew. Did some major damage here, and uh, yeah, uh, she can't do anything but party heal. That's lackluster. We're gonna move back and uh, finish her off. So I do want to change the uh, order, and then I want to camp because we're low on we're a little bit low on light. Moment of respite. Do I want the stress relief for eight food? I'd assume that I have 12 food left, so yes, we're going to do that. We're going to do add more damage to his guns, because that's always awesome. Uh, self only. 40% steal, increase stress by 20. No. Reduce all stress by 25%. No. We want like stress resist if we can get it. Um, one person does more damage. Well, guess what? This much you'll be doing more damage. Uh... Somebody gets more accuracy and more dodge. We're going to apply that to uh, Cygnus because he's a little bit lower level, so I want him to hit a little bit more often. Uh, stress resist on Mustle since he's the only person who is in any way uh, in threat of being stressed out. Um, Let's see here. Let's look at their traits. Um, is anybody God fearing? He's God fearing. So does that mean that I can basically say that this is going to heal him and reduce stress? Let's see. It does, because God fearing counts as him being. Maybe the leper is just naturally religious. That's the only thing I wish I wish I knew is this the religious trait. I don't know which characters are religious and whether or not virtues or traits makes them religious. I have no idea. But let's go ahead and finish up our rest here. Get our torch level up. This place is horrific. Uh, even the Soviet E's stonework is far older than the manor above. Wake up, they're upon us. Okay, so we got ambushed. And does that mean we're get? Yep, we get surprised. Grape shot blast is going to take almost everybody out just because the plus forty damage modifier. We're going to get stressed out quite a bit here, but we're going to finish it out and uh, just move ourselves back. And I still think we get our max torch when it's... Yeah, we do. When it goes back all the way. Um, yep, just do some shuffling. Everybody shuffling, shuffling. Okay. Um, don't know where that came from, but let's look what our scouting chance is saying. So it looks like we've got some empty rooms and a trap in front of us. I'm going to get it on Dismas. Our trap expert. Curious is the efficacy of the trap uh, maker's art who never gets to see the uh, the efficacy of their of their skill. Is that how it works? Is that the is that the comment? It's one of my favorite comments. The idea that you'd never actually see your trap work. Okay, we got low light. Let's go ahead and torch it up. So we can fight this battle with two brawlers and an acolyte. I'm going to do Grape Shot Blast. No, oh, they dodged my accuracy, so 84%. Resisted the bleed on that. Uh, sacrificial Stab, 82%, 82%, 72%. We're going to go for the higher hit chance. And I don't think we got the bleed. But does this apply a bleed even? No, it doesn't. It just does more damage against Eldritch. And we missed with the hue also. But I do want to try to kill this brawler. We're one point short. That's too bad. But he did miss. Everybody's missing that, that run. Grape Shot Blast is going to kill this guy off. Did 11 damage to him. 
Uh, we're going to go after Acolyte since she has a higher speed. Well, they both have the same speed, so which one am I worried more about? I guess I'm a little bit more worried about the Brawler. Not really too worried about the stressful stuff. This move was successful. And I only did 4 damage from Middleton, which is a little bit disappointing. Usually she's a higher damage output than that. We're going to get some medicine, medicinal herbs here. I'm not too excited about that. Um, like, where do I want to camp again? Like, maybe around here? Do I want to use one of my shovels? I have three shovels. So we'll use one of our shovels, sure. We're, like, most of the way done with one of these. Although, I don't know why I'm trying to get more items, because my items are going to be full anyway. This is 500, this is 250, this is 500, so we'll just leave this on the ground. Nope, close it, leave it, move on. Go into this room. Hopefully we get another scouting chance. No, we didn't. Let's move on to this room, and we'll camp in this next room. Use our anti-venom to get more goodies, so that we can just have more goodies. <laughs> Um, let's heal up uh, this guy too, because we are pretty much full on food. So we'll use some of the food. We lost 250 gold. I could take off the bandage, and I know I'm going to get more gold anyway. So I guess I'll... the bandage is only worth 150, so we'll go ahead and replace it. I'm going to have to use a shovel. Use a shovel. And hopefully this room is empty, because I didn't use my light level. I'm going to camp here. Oh, nope. It's a whole bunch of dogs, though. That's not too bad. And we didn't get surprised, which means our order didn't get all messed up. We're going to get stressed out here majorly, but honestly, that's pretty good damage. Uh, artillery. Yep. Crit. Muscle. Man, that crits from Muscle are amazing. <sighs> I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Bleed? Nope, resist the bleed. Didn't get too stressed out either, too. And oddly enough, that was an easy, pretty easy battle. Um, you're stressed out, so let's have you look at the pristine fountain. Revigorates the hero. Yep, 20 resist. And let's camp here. And we want to use 8 food or 4 food. Rats in a Minus. I only need, like, I don't actually need any stress. We'll just use four food of our 12. Again, we'll apply some damage buffs, some more damage on him. Uh, plus accuracy, yep. And we'll pretty much repeat what we've done. We're likely to surprise monsters. Mm, that seems pretty good. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. And then uh, we'll give... Muscle more stress relief, and that's it. We'll rest. Hopefully, we don't get ambushed like last time. Nope. Looks like we got out of here okay. So we're gonna scout ahead, and this next room is gonna be empty, and we're gonna use at least one more shovel. I think that's our gonna be our last shovel. Sacks contents are yours. We get a hundred gold. That's pittance. Uh, I'm probably gonna drop the herbs if I have to choose a slot in which to, you know discard something so that I get a slot worthwhile. Um, I feel like we're almost done with this quest, but, you know, maybe that's just me. Use up a torch, our light level went down. Uh, pile through this with our last shovel. Hopefully we don't get any more uh, thorny thickets, because then I'd feel kind of stupid for using that shovel just to dig a shallow grave. we got a battle coming up in the hall. Uh, those are usually easier than room battles. Sack is empty, not exciting. Uh, we are, they're, of course they're going to go first, because they always go first, but no! And we killed everybody with one shot with this mess, because high women are badass. Um, so yeah, okay, so I didn't get grave nibbled to death. Sometimes I always feel like I'm getting grave nibbled. They just love to grave nibble me. And that's always kind of creepy, because, you know... It feels like the only person nibbling on you should be your lover. You know what I'm saying? You're just like, if anybody else is nibbling on you, you got issues. And use a torch. Looks like we chose exactly the right number of torches for this for this run. 
And this is going to be our last room. Hopefully we don't have to go any further. Um, we've only ex not explored three rooms. So out of, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So out of sixteen rooms, feels like that should be ninety percent. I don't know. I'm not going to do percentile math in my head while I do that. All right, let's use a torch. Well, we'll just use this torch. Use that one. Okay. And our last battle here, and there's a goodie in this room, so that's fine. The dog gets to go first because they have incredible speed. I think their speed's like 20. Nope, speed 8. And do some AoE. Pretty good damage. Uh, 15 plus 7 is 22. That's pretty good. They use Mark Prey. We didn't get a Rain of Blight. We're going to go with a Hue and see if we can kill. Well, we killed one. We didn't kill both. That's fine. Most of them have already all acted. Um, don't feel like I need to heal. We're just going to go for uh, a removal, which we got. Sacrificial stab, yes please. Uh, we're going to go for the guaranteed kill. Even though muscle is usually critting all this time. Escape cloud. We did get hit, and he resisted the blight. Um, I can't de-stress with this person, so I guess we'll just hit. Middleton does 10 damage. That's pretty awesome. And I guess we'll finish it up with Muscle, who's been a really champ this this run. Okay, let's look in the heirloom chest. Let's disarm the trap, if any. And we had enough room to get all the goodies. So, could have liked a little bit more portraits, but oddly enough, I didn't have to sacrifice too much. So that was pretty good. And we didn't complete all of the rooms. Seriously? No! Okay. So apparently even in a long run, usually in a medium run you could still miss two, but I'm going to be doing some backtracking here. Oh no. Alright, backtrack, backtrack. Just get a lot more stress. Have to eat food. That's what's going to happen. Come on. No, no, no. I got impatient. Impatience often serves to uh, kick you in the ass where you just have to spend more time doing something. That's what impatience does. Yes, select this room. Move on. Apparently there's a trap there. Light went down. We'll use a torch. Apparently I'm going to have to go backtracking all the way to this freaking room. Come on feel like I should get out of calculator. So there's 17 rooms, and I explored 14 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. So 15 plus another 3 is 18. So I did 15 out of 18 rooms. That's not 90%. It's got to be like 87 or 88.5 or something like that. Someone can get out a calculator and uh, do the math for me just so that I can be righteously pissed. Yeah, I'm just getting some more stress here. Yep, move to the next room. Come on, we got to we got to do this. I know you guys all want to go home. I'm upset too. I thought for sure that uh, 15 out of 18 was going to be 90%, but apparently it's not. You'll be happy to know that this room will be empty, though. Yes, you get to eat. I have enough I have enough food for even that. And of course we used our bandage, but that doesn't matter. I'm still going to like look at this thing. Nothing of interest. And last room. Come on, 90%. That's right. Yeah, you better be done. All right, so what do we get? We, yeah, that's right. We got 12 deeds from this, and that was pretty good. And um, a really interesting kind of item: more damage and more protection if you're uh, if you're low health. Counting up the busts, counting up the goodies. That's not too bad. 
that feels pretty good. That density, where you can barely see what you got. I got the corner of like a crest here. You can barely see the porch at corners. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased. We did level up Cygnus. He's going to be our new front row guy for a while now, just because uh, Renald and Corvic are already level three. He became a rune scounder, which is weird because we're in the weld, so I don't know how he became better at something else. Stress faster, okay. Um, so less less food consumed if stress is above 50. And of course these people now are level 3, so they're useless for most purposes. But I should have enough level 3 now that I should be able to make another embark. Got a couple of negative quirk removed. Nobody needed to go for stress heal. Um, am I still low on stress heal? Yeah, I don't really feel like I need to send anybody for stress heal. Let's go check and see if I got an arbalist or... Um, nope. Nope, didn't get one. Hmm. Well, that's disappointing. I mean, I kind of do need vessels and things like that, but... No, I want I want my arbalist and man of arms, so I guess we're just going to toss those people back. I did get a new interesting trinket that we're not going to use right away. And... Yeah, so I guess I'm probably going to look at what I want to do next run. I did get some more gold. Uh, I guess we can go look and see if there's anybody we want to throw back. Night blind list? No, that is not. I'm not really worried about that. What's, what chance you got? Resolution? Please possessed by demons? Not really worried about that. Obsessed with sainthood? Known cheat? Will not meditate in town? That's not too bad either for negative traits, honestly. Uh, stress heal. That's kind of thing. Uh, so maybe we'll get remover off. Minus stress resist on. Um, oh wow, this is like uh, minus twenty percent damage on range skills. I don't want that. Throw that back. I want my range skills to be really high. Um, I don't really care if you move around. Your dodge is 20. Let's uh, let's see what we got here. Lazy eye and will not pray. Not too bad. God fearing, curious. That's not that's that's not bad. Weldophobe, That's bad. And calm. That's not so good either. So love it. You're gonna get um, the stress resist. I want that gone. Uh, Grant Gravity, what do you got? Oh yeah, you got a couple of them. The Torn Rotator Cloth and the Stress versus Human. So Grant Gravity, we're going to send you to get your Fear of Humans taken away. Uh, Middleton, uh, you are also Fear of Humans, and this guy's just got minus crit, that's not too bad. Um, Middleton, I guess I'm going to go for another, well... Honestly, two of my level twos are in the sanitarium. So what would I take? Bray, Muscle, Cygnus, and Chauncey? Yeah, I could do that. So that means I'm going to send back uh, Middleton to Anemic, Bleed Resist. Okay, so Middleton's going to go drink. Fresh kegs, cards, and curtained rooms. And we're going to go look. We got quite a bit of deeds on that last one. So I can actually upgrade these these weapon slots and these armor slots. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, let's upgrade the their armor. Mold the metal. We are ready and yeah, now I can army. get... Uh, their next level. Blue. Blue robes. But I don't know who I'm going to want to upgrade quite yet on that. So I think we'll end it here and we'll probably take out our level Bray and Cygnus and Muscle and Chauncey probably on our next run. So, uh, yeah, if you like this content, if you had a fun time watching the video, like the video, so that way it uh, helps the channel. And uh, if you have any other questions or comments, let me know, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.